Hello, and welcome to ClinicAid. In this tutorial video, we'll be doing a thorough walkthrough of how to manage invoices in your ClinicAid account. In order to get the most out of this video, you should already have your ClinicAid account set up for billing in your province. You should be familiar with creating and saving invoices as well. If you haven't yet set up your account for billing, or if you're not familiar with creating and saving invoices, please take a look at our other tutorial videos that cover those topics in our customer support portal. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your account, you will reach your dashboard. We're currently logged into an Alberta demo account, but ClinicAid's features and functionality are similar in every province, so our BC and Ontario users should have no trouble following along. On your dashboard, you will see three sections. Invoices requiring action, billing opportunities, and unsubmitted invoices. These sections will fill to show relevant invoices as you submit and receive responses on your claims. Invoices requiring action will display any invoices that you've submitted for assessment and have received an unexpected response on. These are either rejected invoices, invoices paid at zero, or invoices that have been paid out at an amount less than what you've claimed for. Billing opportunities will show you reminders for claims you may have missed, especially useful for codes that can only be billed every so often. Unsubmitted invoices that you have created and saved can also be sent directly from the dashboard. You can view each invoice by clicking the eye icon. This will open up a new tab displaying that invoice, which you can then send, edit, or delete. To speed up your submission, you can view and send all of your unsubmitted invoices from the Manage Invoices section instead. Every claim that you've ever created using ClinicAid will be in the Manage Invoices section. Claims are sorted in tabs by their various statuses. New claims, those that you have saved but not yet submitted, will be displayed in the New tab. You can view and edit these claims by using the icons on the right-hand side of each claim. Viewing a claim will open it in a new tab, allowing you to make changes to it before sending it in. To send off your batch of saved claims, check the top checkbox next to service date. This will select all of the claims visible on the page, and once you click the green send button that appears after checking the items, they will be sent in for assessment. You can also send just a few claims in by selecting them using the checkboxes, or you can send claims in individually by clicking the green arrow button at the end of each claim line. Once claims have been sent, they will move into the Pending tab until they are assessed by your provincial governmental body and sent back with updated statuses. You will not be able to edit claims that are pending until you receive a response on them. The Requires Action tab will display the same claims that appear in your Invoices Requiring Action section on your dashboard. These claims will be those that have been rejected, underpaid, or paid at zero. You can go back to edit these claims and resubmit them in order to be reassessed. Once you make edits and save the changes to the invoices, you'll notice that an additional modified status appears on your invoice when you're viewing it. Modified invoices can then be resubmitted via the green arrow or by using the checkboxes. When you view an invoice requiring action, you should see a rejection reason or code displayed at the top. You can then edit these claims to fix the issues displayed before sending them back in. If the rejection is because of a wrong claim code, you can simply edit the claim by putting in the correct code and sending the invoice back in. If it turns out that you've made a mistake on the claim, such as sending in a duplicate invoice or claiming for additional time that is not covered, you can also choose to manually settle the claim in order to remove it from your invoices requiring action section. At the bottom of the invoice you're viewing, you will see a transaction history section, which shows you when the invoice was sent in and when a response was received on it. This section will update with additional transaction information if you resubmit the invoice. For questions regarding specific rejected invoices, it's best to contact your provincial assessment body for more details. They will generally ask you to identify the claim based on information that you should easily be able to find at the top of your invoice. If the claim was rejected due to incorrect patient information, you'll need to update the patient's record with the correct information. 
You can do so in the Manage Patients section to save the updated data for future use. You can then go back to the claim to edit it. Click the refresh button beside the patient's name to pull in the new information and resubmit the claim. You can also update the patient's information using the advanced tab, but this will only change it for this particular claim and won't update the information in the patient's record. These edits work the same when needing to update provider information. You can either update the provider record to save the updated information, or you can just make changes to an individual claim using the Advanced tab. A handy feature to use in case of a more frequent error is the mass edit feature. This option will appear if you select multiple rejected or unsent invoices. You can use it to mass edit multiple invoices that have the same incorrect data at once. This feature is especially useful if you've accidentally sent in a bunch of claims that have incorrect provider or patient information, or multiple invoices were created with the wrong service date, or any other error was made on mass. When mass editing, you can choose if you'd like to reprocess the patient or provider details after updating them in the patient or provider record, or you can select which field you'd like to make changes to. You're also able to mass delete invoices if need be. Please note that this only works for invoices you have not yet submitted. Claims that have been held for assessment will be shown in your Held tab. All of your settled claims will be displayed in your Settled tab. These claims have either been assessed and paid in full, or you've manually settled them once they've been returned as rejected. All of the claims that you've created through ClinicAid will be displayed in your All tab. You can use the filters at the top of the screen to refine your search if there are particular claims you're looking for. You may filter based on either the service date or the invoice creation date. You can also look for particular patient or provider claims and narrow down your date ranges as needed. Using the plus more filters option, you can also search for private billing invoices and you can refine your search by invoice status type. You can make changes to the columns that are displayed on the screen by editing these using the columns feature. Drag columns you'd like to display into the Visible Columns section, taking into account that the positioning will be reflected in the order of the columns displayed. You can also remove columns that you don't want displayed by dragging them into the Hidden Columns section. These changes can be applied to just the current tab, or to all tabs that you have open, by saving the settings using the Apply to Current tab or Apply to All Tabs buttons. Add or remove all of the columns, or reset the columns to default settings using the Reset to Defaults link. Remember to save your changes by applying to the Current tab or to All tabs. In order to display more than just the 10 claims visible by default, you can change the amount of items per page using the drop-down at the top of the screen. You may view up to 100 invoices per page using this option. An export of the claims displayed can be made by clicking on the Export to CSV button. This will export your data from ClinicAid into a comma-separated value spreadsheet format. We hope you've now familiarized yourself with how to use the Manage Invoices section in your ClinicAid account. If you have any questions or would like some additional help, please feel free to look through our customer support portal for more resources. You can access the portal directly from your dashboard or from the Get Help link on the left-hand menu.
As well, feel free to contact one of our support reps for additional assistance. Thanks for watching and happy billing!